What we have here is a Bosch dishwasher. It's worked well for us since we've had it. Uh, it's about five years old now, but I'm having an issue with uh, the heater relay on the control board. Uh, I've already made a temporary repair to it. I'll show you that when I get it out. But uh, I'm going to show you how to replace that relay. So the first thing you want to do is make sure the power is turned off. I have the power turned off at the breaker. Make sure you do that. Very important. Okay. To get the front panel off, there are three screws down the side, each side. There are also four screws across the top, and then two in each, or one in each end. Uh, I've already removed those for the sake of time here. I've got these two left to, to take out. I'm supporting the front panel with my knee at this point. Okay, so off comes the front panel. Okay. Now, if these fall off, these are the hinge guards. Just put them back on. They will most likely fall off when you take the front panel off. Okay. Here is the control panel. Right here. Okay, we have two more screws here. We're going to take those out. All these screws, by the way, are put on with a Torx number 20. Keep these two screws separate because they're different from those that hold the front panel on. Okay. Push these tabs. Okay, now we have some releases that we have to push in to get the control panel out. We'll push these tabs in. We have to get a screwdriver on this one. There it is. Okay, control panel is loose. Slide these connectors off. Again, you got to push down a little tab. There's one. There we go. Push those tabs down. You got the control panel off. There's a number of uh, little tabs that also hold this thing together. So we're going to pry it open. See if we can work our way across the box. Prying up on all the little tabs. Just have to have a little patience with it. There's one more over here. There we go. All righty. All right. Here is the where the relay was burned. 
Now, I made a temporary repair to this while I ordered my part. I'll give you an idea of what it looked like. It looked like this right here. That's a burned solder joint where the uh, relay co contact on the PC board overheated. And it's going to look very similar to that right there when you open this box up, the PC board. Okay, so on this one right here, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take off this temporary connection that I put on here. Now some people on the forums say you can just resolder this joint, put it back together. That's not a good idea. Uh, it's not going to last. You need to replace the relay because the problem is the relay is defective. That's what's causing the overheating on the PC board. Okay. Now to get this relay unsoldered, in this case here's the five contacts of the relay, I'm going to use, I use a solder sucker, some people use solder wick, but I'm going to prefer this right now. Okay, so here goes my first contact. Okay, now this particular model, this is an SHE44C Bosch. It only had the uh, four joints soldered on the relay. Yours may have five joints soldered. Okay, so here's my defective relay. I have my replacement that I ordered. Now, the replacement is slightly taller than the OEM, but not by much. This one's about six tenths of an inch tall. This is maybe about a half inch tall. Uh, this particular relay that I ordered this is made by NTE, and the uh, model number is R46-5D12-6. This has a 6-volt coil. It's a single pole double throw. has a 100 ohm resistance on the coil, and the contact is rated for 12 amps. So this is a very good replacement relay for this particular application. So I'm going to slide that guy in place. So there you have the new relay. Okay, and I'm going to have to hold this and solder it back in place. Okay, so there it is. That's all there is to it. Got a new relay on there. This is the, again, this is the heater relay. This is a very common problem that happens on these uh, dishwashers because that relay has to carry a lot of current, uh, probably in the uh, excess of uh, 8 amps. Um, Put the PC board back in place, snap this thing back together, and just do everything in reverse to install it. That's all there is to it. Thanks.